Okay, I've been working on my uh, tool again, and the last couple weeks I, uh, I had some other stuff that I had to do of an uh, intense sort of nature, and my work, uh, I'm actually paying work, and, um, but I did uh, fix some bugs uh, and tinker around with it. Um, I didn't have very big um, chunks of time, uh, which is what I need for, for major changes, but this uh, weekend I did take a little bit. Um, but I couldn't devote the whole weekend to it. I kind of recharge a little, though, you know, I'm, I'm working on it every other day, you know, and keeping familiar with what's going on. I use those kinds of times to, to try to look at HTML stuff and whatnot, whatever I can do, uh, think about things. So anyway, what have I done? Well, uh, you know, we had the groups a couple weeks ago introduced. I definitely cleaned those up throughout the week and then this weekend um, uh, you know I was working on the group features that I'm really going to need like uh, people have to be able to join groups themselves and own, uh, caretakers of groups have to be able to assign people into the group and even other people can make their vote on I think that guy's an f -list. Um of course the primary one being the caretaker of the group um, who they've assigned uh, with extra special concern for people that have said, yeah, I'm an Ephelist, and the caretaker says they're an Ephelist, and they're an Ephelist, as far as the system is concerned. But you can always, uh, like, look at your trust network and say, that guy's not an Ephelist, he believes in living, or whatever. Um, I'm using Ephelist as an example, because I, you know, I don't want to seem biased, I'm just like, well, I'm promoting people, I, everybody knows I disagree with them, so. Uh, this is a site for people I disagree with. Okay, so that's clicking on the group. It loads the whole group in there in the order there. Um, should be in the order. I have seen some problem with the ordering, depending on what you do or, or if you confuse the page. I could have put a button that sorts it, which would solve that. Maybe I'll do that if it persists, but I'll probably just try to. Um, that's a kludge, so I don't want to do that if I don't have to. Um, there's other similar tricks I could do. So, um, one new thing I did uh, that had nothing to do with the groups is um, I put a little link at the end. Uh, I think Bark Lord asked, you know, so you can see seven videos. What if you want to see more? So there's a link at the end of the people's videos that, that allows you to get more videos. And I had it so that it, it stuck to just that one row and you had to scroll and that was confusing so it's kind of interesting to see a person's all the person's uh, icons like compact like that it made me think that it'd be neat to have a uh, an animation just like with all of your oh look see that's all his vids he doesn't have any more videos than that um, and so on so <clears throat> get seven videos at a time because that, that, that that's just my model number now for what I'm considering a week's worth of videos. Obviously, everybody makes a different amount of videos, but you know, so one a day, seven. Somebody does that, you check this, you know, once a week, you, you shouldn't miss any videos. Okay. Um, so there's that. The other thing I've been working on, which I'm not showing you the URL, uh, but what I'm really working on is making the, the groups work, like I said, so you can add yourself and stuff. Plus, none of the two groups I have even um, have a, uh, uh, a description. So there's going to be other descriptions and stuff. So I'm working on a tool that you can use to add people to groups if you're the group caretaker or to add yourself to a group if you want to. Um, so... Uh, I could bring up the, the semi-urge group. Huh, aren't I the owner of this? If I was the owner of this, uh, it allows me to edit this description and it has a, uh, you know, an HTML editor. But I guess I did this with another user. I wonder if I'm the FLIST owner. No. So this is going to be a way to go ahead and uh, edit these groups. You have a list of users over here and you can add people to groups. And then this is going to be crucial to the system because with groups um, and voting, uh, we'll have um, 
we'll have a very complete system for um, for organizing ourselves, uh, both with you know contest in mind because like you could have a group that would be you know the winner of a debate series um, and people would be voting by placing people in that group or not but in addition I have a voting system where you can vote on what do you think of someone's you know membership assignment and so on so um, it, it has to be done slowly so it's not confusing you know at the, at the beginning it's just going to be like the caretaker can assign people in a group and um, uh, and you can assign yourself to the group and it'll be very simple sounding but uh, underneath there's a very complex group idea and I actually want to make another video about the philosophy of uh, groups as it as it's involved with with this uh, software um, the way in which I, I I'm not taking simple-minded view of groups that most software uh, social uh, software um, uh, I don't like that term but um, that it takes with groups um, okay uh, I don't think there was anything else visible I worked on um, besides these two things so I just wanted you to know uh, I'm still working on it oh yeah uh, so I didn't hear back from you know the the software co-op people which I wouldn't I didn't expect because they said they'd have to wait a bit until this conference is over I looked up this conference in London it's the uh, the, the, the radical media conference or rebellious rebellious media conference so um, yeah I figure now even if that's a dead end it, it has revived the idea because I know all I need is um, I need a, somebody to serve a light TPD web server with, um, you know, with an FLV streamer, and they have to have a machine capable of doing this uh, encoding for people because you all are freaking noobs and you want to upload videos and whatever your stupid program spits out, which is expensive be better if you convert to FLB and then upload it but whatever so um, we can work on making uh, tools like that in the long run if I if we have something like the video producers co-op one neat thing is we could start to do things where we make our own recorder because one thing would be nice is to be able to play somebody else's video and when you get to the point where you want to interject a comment you just hit pause make your comment go through the whole video that way at the end it pieces your comments together into your video their video still exists and I'm gonna have my dual player where it'll come up and play your video and when you get to the part that you're uh, you know where you're quoting them you know I'll automatically know to play that before your comment you know and then you'll have a chance in the editor to you know it'll like give you a 10 second uh, clip of what they said before you pause and you can adjust that more or less and um, yeah so uh, all these little pieces will come together then I don't think the the note taker is something that anybody's gonna want to use a lot until we get into structured conversations where people are like oh yeah this is a debate this is a contest people are putting their ideas and it matters and we want to uh, we want to direct people's attention to particular things that were said and part of what will make that doable is a way to navigate through linked sets of videos where these notes are relevant as you move somewhere you know you might be looking at a whole argument and there's hours and hours of video it might be nice to be able to go well show me you know this guy's highlights on that show me this groups highlights on that and so on uh, and and that all together will be a, a while in coming but I want to create features that are useful in themselves now for me it's a useful player and even if I don't play the videos back and do the recording of them thing you know it's useful because it's, it's not really for that it's to draw attention it's really for you know to draw people's attention to a particular um, uh, set of comments you know embedded in a website where you're browsing videos not for cam capture but I think it can be used for that but like the ideal tool for that was this other one I'm saying where you'd want some control over the server the video server um, but uh, but it's a piece of uh, 
of the way I want to navigate videos. So the next thing that I hope is useful, and I think this will be much more generally useful, will be this group stuff where we will be able to follow groups and with voting uh, to rank and organize ourselves and other people in, a, in what I think will be a more organic way. I'm going to make another video It's really not a software video but a philosophy video but it will be heavy on the practical issues of trying to apply concepts of groups to things like network software um, and some of the ideas I'm using um, from from the philosophical perspective but I, I apply that philosophy um, directly to my work so okay um, also I have some notes of a video a few days ago now on logic by Gary Gary has another half hour video I haven't watched I may or may not watch that tonight I probably am um, not gonna do a, a you know play both videos thing just because once they get to about a half an hour it's not really that it's to a half an hour it's more like um, I find that that focus is really sharp and then it's good to just watch a video if it's a really long video it also helps because that play and respond thing gets really long so this is probably what I'll watch and um, maybe try to get a summary assuming there's some some new perspectives I have some new uh, things newish things to say in my response to the notes that I took a few days ago on I think that was on logic number four or volume four or something like that um, and um, yeah so I hope this week to get the, the groups working where people can create groups uh, it'll be a lot easier for me myself to make groups uh, right now I had to write a little script to create those two groups you know so I could delete them and recreate them as I'm debugging but um, you know it'll be easier to, to make groups and we'll have some other groups like you know logic discussions will discussions politics sexism porn versus art um, groups of people debating things mixed groups as well as sides of the debate and we'll be moving into later setting up uh, conflict and cooperation scenarios between these groups it will get very good and I think there's a, an interesting aspect is that my theories on this stuff uh, are not entirely designed to avoid drama I mean the drama is in the people it's more like a vending system like an internal combustion engine idea where it's like you don't stop the explosion and you don't try to contain the explosion per se you contain it enough that you anticipate its expansion and use that for energy I would like to use the drama hidden inside the steel engine that keeps the actual beautiful engineering running not that the explosion isn't a beautiful engineering it's it's lovely because it turns heat and destruction into a trip to the supermarket okay so yeah uh, I appreciate anybody keep trying it out I haven't really been worrying about beta testers um, so I don't know if um, yeah maybe I should market it because it's good to get it tested um, I do see people are using the site and um, it's probably sufficient I don't really want to like, get more people to use the site until I have time to just you know I'm in heavy development still and I want to be able to maintain things and yet um, well I'm just thinking out loud uh, yeah the um, the the system probably is getting used enough for me to find bugs um, assuming people are, are kind enough to email me when they when they find one don't assume I, I found it um, things can be unique I, I for one I test on a Mac uh, in Chrome and uh, Firefox and Safari so I'll, I'll, I'm thinking of breaking down and getting a virtual machine for Mac that I can run Windows in just because I hate to make software and not be able to test for a platform I know it's access through but um, but anyway yeah please give feedback and uh, I'll probably come back to a particular I mean when we get to this debate structure I'm gonna be more of a recruiting minded again um, like I did for the first beta where I really needed to know if it was gonna uh, handle groups of people um, probably like try to get some some interest from people you might want to think about that I hope the first you know, crude structured debates and conversation are two 
many weeks away, um, and I might be willing to do some very crude ones just to get it started. I mean, people do these things just with YouTube, and the tools could easily be better than that to begin with, but um, better than none. Um, uh, because I think that's something that would, would benefit people, but it's, it's, I'm not entirely sure how many of these features uh, we need. Um, like, I have a picture in my head of how the debate structure has to look, and I'm trying to think, well, what are the things that are not like that, but don't paint me in a corner while I can't go to that, and don't get users used to something uh, that will be, you know, incompatible in terms of how they think about what they're doing. Because you could come up with a better metaphor in software, and people have already learned an effective, but not as effective metaphor. They don't want to switch the energy of switching. So sometimes you want to just go straight to the thing that takes you a while to write, and sometimes there's little steps where you go in that same fundamental direction. So, um, so I'm thinking about that, and people might have feedback. Of course, I'm not to those features yet, but maybe some people will start to have an inkling of where I'm going once they see. Uh, how the group features are going to work in the next few weeks. And uh, yeah, my basically, I'm going to get groups in a, in a certain kind of voting on who's in and out of a group, um, voting by groups on group, you know, features and so on and so forth. And, um, and I think from that maybe people, some people will start to get uh, an idea of where I'm going with this. So anyway, uh, I don't know why I changed the size of that window. I just like to see it resize. So, okay. Cheers. I'm going to make a couple more videos and some other stuff right now. But goodbye in this video. Okay, cheers.